Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome to Pro Education Tech Tips. And in today's video, we're learning how to use the Find My iPhone feature. Now, Find My iPhone is an Apple feature designed to help owners of Apple devices like iPhones and iPads and iPod Touch, Apple Watch, things like that, to track their lost or misplaced devices. It takes advantage of the Apple ID being used inside the device to sync up wherever else you log in with the same Apple ID. So before you can use the Find My iPhone feature, make sure it's turned on on your device. If you're using an iPhone like me, just go to your iPhone and tap on settings. Then on the settings page at the top, tap on your Apple ID and then tap on iCloud. And then under apps using iCloud, look for Find My iPhone and tap on it and make sure that button up there is selected. There's another small option down below there that lets you allow your phone to send its location to Apple when the battery is critically low. This is useful in case your phone is probably lost somewhere and you're afraid it's gonna run out of battery, which then means you cannot be able to use the Find My iPhone feature. So when the battery is critically low, it's going to send its latest location to Apple and you can you know, log on to iCloud on another device and know where your phone is or where it was last seen before it went off. Anyway, back to the Find My iPhone feature. So that's turned on. So now, in case you lose your iPhone or misplace it somewhere, all you need to do is go to iCloud. You can use any browser on any device. For instance, I'm using Google Chrome on a Windows device. So all I need to do is go to iCloud and sign into my account with the same Apple ID as the one I'm signed in on the device. Click on Find iPhone. So it's going to take me to the Find page where you'll see a map and all your Apple devices located on that map. Now, since I only have an iPhone, it's going to show me my iPhone on a map and you can use these two buttons to zoom in or out so that you can be able to see the map clearly and see exactly where your phone is. And if you have any other device, Apple device that you want to find, you can simply use this drop down menu. But since, like I said, I only have the iPhone, that's all it's going to show. So now once you see your phone on a map, you can decide what to do depending on where your phone is. For instance, it seems like my phone is in my house. So one thing I can do is on the right here in this little box, there are three options. The first option is to play a sound. So if your phone is lost in your house or in your car or somewhere you can access, only that you don't know where you placed it, you can use this feature to make the phone vibrate and ring in the highest or the loudest volume possible. So once you just click on that, give it a few seconds, and the iPhone will start ringing in the highest sound possible. So as soon as you find the phone, it's going to stop ringing. So that should be very convenient in case you just misplace your phone somewhere in your car or in your house. Now, the second mode is lost mode. And this is literally for a lost phone. A lost phone is a phone that you don't know whether it was stolen or you don't know whether you placed it somewhere and forgot or maybe you dropped it somewhere, you're not sure. The best you can do is see it on a map. And if you cannot recognize why you're seeing it to go and collect it, you can use this lost mode. So when you click on the lost mode, you'll be asked to put a phone number. Now this phone number is going to be displayed on the screen of your phone. So in case anyone finds it or where you left it, that person can be able to contact you using the number you're going to provide. So for instance, I'm going to provide my number right here. Just like that. And then I'll click on next, use anyway. And then I can either use this message that this phone has been lost, please call me on the number I've provided, or I can delete that and customize my own message. And then I'll click on done. And then the phone will be put into lost mode. So in case anyone picks up the phone, right now, all they're going to see on the screen is, is that the phone is lost and the number to call to find the owner of the phone is right there on the screen. So this is what anyone will see as soon as they, you know, come across your phone anywhere. And then the last option is to erase iPhone. So once you initiate this, all the data in your phone will be erased. So if you have very sensitive information on your iPhone and you're very afraid that it might land in the wrong hands and someone might access and use that information, you can choose to have iCloud delete everything on your lost iPhone remotely. So just click on erase iPhone and then confirm that you want to erase. And then iCloud, as soon as the phone connects to internet, everything on your iPhone is going to be deleted 
all your iCloud account, your Apple ID, all your photos, everything is going to be deleted on the iPhone. It's basically going to be reset to factory settings. And before you choose this option, it's important to know that once you do this, there's no going back. You no longer be able to use the two other options because your device will no longer have your iCloud account on it, which also means someone else can actually use the iPhone at this point. However, if you have most of your stuff backed up on iCloud or other backup services, then you'll only have lost your device. Fortunately, you can buy another iPhone or other device and sign in with the Apple ID and restore all your data from iCloud, which is very convenient. Although you should still report your stolen iPhone to the authorities using your device's serial number or IMEI number. But as far as Find My iPhone feature goes, that's it for now. You can leave your comments and questions down in the comment section below this video. Don't forget to subscribe and share. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one.